Hey everybody and welcome back to another masterful Monday. I am your host Mr. Bevers. That's right. We're back again with one of every master set ever printed. That's right. Modern Masters 2013, Modern Masters 2015, Eternal Masters, Modern Masters 2017, Iconic Masters, Masters 25, and Ultimate Masters. And of course, we have our winner from last week, Mr. Broke Honky, requested lineage tokens. So we're going to open up a pack of lineage tokens for him. If you're wondering what I mean by winner from last week, well, if you uh, leave a comment below on this video with which set you think will have the highest dollar value in it for next week, you will be entered to win a package of relic tokens, either lineage or eternal, your choice. So, of course, we're going to be drawing a winner for this week as well at the end of this video. I have all of their votes in a spreadsheet already over here. I have everyone's name who voted for what set and all of that good nonsense. And so, once we figure out which set has the highest value, we will be picking a winner from those people. So, without further ado, let's open up Mr. Broke Honky's package of tokens and see what he gets. He was hoping for a Liliana token, is what I what I recall hearing from our, our seeing in his comment. So the lineage tokens have these ones. They have Thopters, Merfolk, Pirates, Elementals, Elf Warriors, Vampires, Dinosaurs, Demons, and Birds, as well as Ooze tokens, Poison tokens, Liliana tokens, Worm tokens, Sapperling tokens, Karn, a different Liliana token, and a different Worm token. So you've got the Lifelink and the Death Touch tokens. So those are the opportunities for the Lineage pack. So let's see. Without further ado, let's see what you get. You're getting a sweet Vampire Lifelink token, relevant right now. And you're getting an Elf Warrior token. All right. And, ooh, a Poison token. There you go. No Liliana for you, but maybe next time. Maybe next time, get those votes in and get the right vote, and maybe you could win again. Who knows? And that's right, everyone. We are not excluding people from winning more than once. So if you vote multiple times on multiple videos, you still have a chance to win again. So anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the packs based on highest value to lowest value last week. And so last week, Modern Masters 2017 took it, so we're going to open it up first. Of course, it had the highest value because it had a Snapcaster in it. So let's see what it has this week for us. There are a number of people who have voted for this set, so we'll see. We will have to see. I don't believe there's any commons that we need to keep an eye on from this set. Let's see. Teleportal. Wall of Frost. Vampire Nighthawk. And Arid Mesa. All right. Well, that's a contender for sure. And a Foil Lone Missionary. So the Arid Mesa coming in at about $40. So that's not too shabby. 2017 is going to be up there. And of course, we've got a sweet elemental token there. All right, next up was, of course, Ultimate Masters, which had, uh, you know, the second highest value and almost took it last last week. Um, it was the <laughs> it was the second last pack open and it had the uh, second highest, it had the highest value dollar rare until we opened the 2017 pack. So that's pretty funny. So we've got a spirit token, and our foil is a Scuzzback Marauders, which is not anything super exciting there um, from a money standpoint. But let's see what the rare is. Magus of the Bazaar. Well, I don't think that hits anything, does it? It's it's yeah, it's definitely nowhere near the Arid Mesa. So 2017 might take it again this week. We'll have to see. Murderous Red Cap used to be worth something. I don't think it's worth anything anymore. No, yeah. And then I don't think there's any commons we need to be too, too worried about here. Certainly nothing high enough to come anywhere near the Arid Mesa cost. Modern Masters 2013 was in third place last week. Last week was actually a pretty uh, poor week for us. We opened up a lot of, like, really jank value. Um, so let's see. We know there's a couple commons um, in 2013. Uh, that could be worth something. Good old Flicker Wisp. Who doesn't like Flicker Wisp? I don't think Flicker Wisp is worth anything particular. Oh, it's a dollar. Well, a dollar from Eventide, so it's probably less from Modern Master, but we'll put it to the side anyway. Masked Admirers, Mirror Retriever, and Tarmogoyf. Well then, okay. What do we see? Ooh, that's beating out the Arid Mesa at the moment, and we've got a Tishari's Grasp as our foil. 
I don't think it's anything particularly interesting for the foil, but you know how it goes. Eternal Master is next. It came in fourth place last week. So last week we had at least three of the sets came in under a dollar worth of value. So that just goes to show you guys, you shouldn't be opening these up for value. Uh, because you can really get burned. We've got, of course, a Scoured Barons. There, the Taplands. Honden of Life's Web. Armadillo Cloak. Animate Dead is actually an uncommon worth a couple dollars. And our rare, Navinral's Disc. So Animate Dead is $3 uncommon. Okay. And Navinral's Disc is, I think, about 4 or $5, somewhere in there. Ooh, $2 now. That's the wrong set. But let's just see. I don't think it will matter if we change it, to be honest. It's Eternal Masters instead. Makes it $2. And a giant tortoise foil. So at least so far, our, our value has been over a dollar for every pack we've opened. Except for uh, Ultimate Masters was not. But the other ones, yes. And we've done pretty good. Arid Mesa and Tarmogoyf, we'll take it. It's definitely worth it. Now, here is a little bit like, so Masters 25 was kind of like the next best, but they're all like around the 30 to 40 cent packs last week. So, you know, it's kind of like hit or miss, I guess, in that sense. Blue Elemental Blast, I don't think is worth anything. We'll check it. Nope. And I don't think Browbeat is either, although Browbeat is a sweet card. And, oh, it's about a dollar. It's almost a dollar, so we'll put it to the side. Nick's Fleece Ram used to be a contender as well for a dollar value, but let's see. Woo, a Vendillion Click. My goodness. Yeah, Nick's Fleece Ram is down. Uh, Vendillion Click is very good as well. I don't think it beats out the Tarmogoyf. No, certainly not. Still a nice hit, though. Still a very nice hit. And, of course, a Foil Horseshoe Crab. So, I mean, we hit a Mythic there, and a Mythic here, so not too bad. And the Mythics were worth something. There are possible Mythics from these sets that are not worth things, so there is that. Now, this one next, because it was 30 cents, and that means that IMA was lower than 30 cents, according to my spreadsheet. So, we've got our Germ token. Again, I don't think there's any, I don't think there's any commons that we need to be too worried about. Smash to smithereens, maybe? Let's see. What's Smash going for? 25 cents? Okay, so Smash to smithereens used to be worth something. It's not so much anymore. And I don't think Repeal is worth anything either. Repeal, also another one that used to be worth something and then not so much anymore. Azorius Chancery. I don't think that's anything we need to be worried about. We'll check its price just in case. Yeah, 26 cents for that. Water Servant, for sure, not anything worth noting for value. Spite ba uh, Bellows, nope. And Profane Command, actually not a bad little hit. Um, and a Foil, Orzov Basilica. So Profane Command, still only, not even over a dollar, but still a nice card. Very good card. And this Orzov Basilica, we'll just check, because, I mean, it is one of the bounce lands. So we'll just double check it to make sure. Uh, what is this? Modern Masters, this, and Foil. Comes in at a dollar. So there you go. The pack was over a dollar still because of the foil. <laughs> All right. Iconic Masters last. But maybe not least. I don't know. It's going to be hard to beat a Tarmogoyf in an Arid Mesa for Iconic Masters. Now, Iconic Masters could do it. Could absolutely do it. But I, I don't think that's going to happen. Let's see. Sanguine Bond. Very good card. Whenever uh, you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. Golgari Rot Farm. Again, another bounce land. Right? Indulgent Tormentor, another, this, we got two uncommons in this pack that were used to be rares, because I think Sanguine Bond used to be a rare too, didn't it? Indulgent Tormentor for sure. Path of Bravery, definitely not beating out a Tarmogoyf or an Arid Mesa. And a Foil Dragon Egg, definitely not beating out those things. So it looks like uh, Iconic Master is down at the bottom of the barrel again this week, uh, with about 18 cents of value from that Path of Bravery. So, without further ado, it looks like Masters 2013 took it this week, which means, which means, you 2017 only had two votes, by the way. So if it had been 2017, and it was close to be 2017, those two people would have been the ones that would have a chance to win. However, that being said, we have a number of people here. It looks like about 10 folks voted for Modern Masters uh, 20, 
13. So let's just see if we can find some lands that we can we can actually write on because it, I believe some of them are harder to write on than others due to the coding that they have from the Japanese um, printers. Let's just see what we find here. There we go. Yes, this is what I'm looking for. Perfect. Okay. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten lands. Now we need a Sharpie. Sharpie, Sharpie, Sharpie. Who's first? First up, Garrett. Uh, Garrett Shirley? My goodness, I'm sorry, I butchered, I butchered your name. I even spelled it wrong. I'm so, I'm so terrible. The L comes before the E. There, we fixed it, sort of. I apologize. I'm even reading it off the screen here. We've got uh, Mike V. Who is now gathering the magic. Changed his name. We've got... Oh my goodness, what the heck am I... Does anyone's name start with an S? J. Shing. Gotcha. Take that. Don't know how I wrote an S first when I was trying to write... Uh, Guro Wizk. What? W C Z W. All right. There's my Canadian showing Z instead of Z. You know, just how just how it goes. We got Jay Shing already. We got Thom. Thom Diddy. Who's next? A leader man. Oh, alert, alerter man. Alert, alertman. My goodness, I'm so bad at this. Alertman 3. Holy moly. Just butchering everyone's names. Jack. Manlove. Uh, Twilight's Eve. All right. Uh, who's next? Tornado Joe. Eighty-seven? Eighty-seven. Alright. Uh. And last but not least, Matt. Dake. I hope I I hope I pronounced all your names correctly, even if I didn't spell them properly. You know how it goes. Whew. Alright. We'll just blow on them there, get them a little bit drier. Congratulations to you folks. You are the ones who guessed correctly this week. So what you'll need to do is make sure you leave a comment on this video with your vote for next week, but also let me know uh, if you are the winner. One of you will be the winner. If one of you, uh, you know, if you leave me a, a what we call it, leave me a comment with your vote for next week, and just make sure you also leave what type of tokens you want uh, for your winnings, so that I know which one to open up at the beginning of the next video. That would be greatly appreciated. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna divide these into two piles. Because there's 10 people. I have no idea who's where. Okay. We're going to roll a six-sided die. Okay. We're going to roll a six-sided die. And then uh, even is this side. Odd is this side. And that's the side we'll keep. So whatever side we don't keep will be eliminated. Okay. Even. This side. So these guys are all eliminated. Sorry, folks. None of you made it this week. We have five. Okay, so who's ready? What we're gonna do is this. So now we've decided these five are the ones going in. This pile over here is the people who got eliminated. Okay, right there. We're gonna roll a d6 again. One, two, three, four, five. If we roll a six, if we roll a six, we will swap these five for those five. That's just how it is, random, completely random. We rolled a three. You're eliminated. We've got four folks. One. Eliminated. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. You're eliminated. 
Evens, odds. Evens, you're eliminated. Congratulations to Garrett. Garrett, congratulations. I butchered your name, but you won some tokens anyway. You are welcome. Thank you so much, everyone, for playing. I hope you enjoyed Masterful Monday. Don't forget to leave your comments below with what set you think will have the highest dollar value next week because you could be in Garrett's shoes next week if you vote correctly. If you vote correctly. Now, it's just a guess, right? Just a guess. Take a guess. Why not? What's the harm? There's no harm in it. You could win some tokens. So, Garrett, make sure you let me know which tokens you want, either Lineage or Eternal, okay? And I will open it up for you at the beginning of the next video, and then I'll ship them out to you. So make sure you also contact me. There should be an email at the end of this video where you can contact me. Um, it'll be at the bottom of the screen here, um, like in around this area, in a splash screen, okay? There'll be my store page, and there'll be an email there that you can contact me at. Uh, just give me your uh, mailing address with your name, and just take a screenshot of your comment or you leaving a comment, okay? All right, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And as always, may your pulls ever be better.